Hey guys, Big Dan Bates from Bates Photography on the Road. Today we are at Port Republic, New Jersey, Chestnut Lake Campground and RV Resort. This is a thousand trails property, so it is free to us, but anybody is welcome to stay here. So we're in town for a uh, photo shoot around the corner is historic Smithville. So Eileen's off getting ready for that. I'm an early riser, so I'm going around getting some footage of the campground and we'll roll that after our review. Stay tuned. All right, well, this one has finally managed to get ready finally, and out the door. Yes. And we're headed down to Smithville for a photo shoot, and we're going to bring you along for the ride so you can see exactly how close we are. See you there, guys. Smithville and evidently it's Italian festival this weekend. <laughs> hey guys, we're on the road. We just pulled out of the campground, heading home for the day. And just wanted to go over kind of the campground review while we're driving along here. The, the briefest summary I can give of this place, it seems like it's in the middle of nowhere but it's actually close to everything. The campground itself is laid out in two parts. You have the front half, which is mostly seasonal back-ends. There are a couple of transient spots there. And that's up close right by the office. And they have a nice little like community center there with a pool table and games and big tables in case you want to do some family activity. Except don't expect to find the pool balls. Yeah, try to find all the pool balls. <laughs> that, that's, that's one of the fun games to play. <laughs> Uh, gorgeous pool right there at the office. And cabanas and ceiling fans and tropical plants and beautifully paved with grassy areas you want to play. There is a mini golf course. It does not look like it's been maintained. No, I don't think it's operational, but yeah. I wish they, yeah, that's one thing I wish they would um, fix, but yeah. other than that, other yeah. than that, and, it's, and the it's place a, is great. It's a great little campground, and it's little. It yeah. is small. So in fact, the at the clubhouse they have uh, shower rooms and you know bathrooms, men and women, as well as a little laundry mat there, and that's the only one. Some campgrounds have them, you know, spotted throughout. This place is so small, it doesn't need it. Um, but then when you move to the back half, where we were, it's mostly transient pull-through spaces. About half have sewer, water, electric, cable. Others only have electric and and water. I believe there's actually a couple spots for dry camping as well there, but that's their right facing the lake. So the first road along the lake itself are a lot of seasonal spots. The rest are pulled through transients. But two gorgeous lakes. The one is easily accessible, has a sandy beach, there's picnic tables. It has could, a small dock too. Yeah, there's a little and dock. A fountain in the and a of nice the fountain. And there'll be all pictures and video of that in the B-roll. Fishing, whatever you need. The other lake. It's definitely like more part of the wilderness preserve. There's a lot of wilderness preserves in the area. Pretty heavily wooded all the way around it. You can kind of walk past it. There's a trail that goes between the two lakes. Really beautiful. I got some great shots in there. Uh, photography shots. Laid out well. Great place. There is a full drive through video that will be in the B-roll. Instead of doing drone footage, we drove through with my new toy. And um, it, it's just a great place. So. Overall, how do you feel about staying there? I love it. It's very quaint. It's smaller to me. It's like an old school campground. And I really think it was our first experience um, with our new RV and Thousand Trails membership. And they're very welcoming. They're very kind in the office there. Um, and really just the campers that we've met there have been really friendly. Although we're thinking that's the whole RV community seems yeah. really friendly in general. And people tend to, to really get down on Thousand Trails campgrounds. We've been to several now. We've had good luck. We've loved every yeah. one. I'm sure there's some out there in the Midwest that are, you know, the, the, wires, the wires are being held together with scotch tape or whatever. But here on the East Coast, we haven't had a bad one yet. And we've stayed at several. So things to do in the area. We're actually pretty close to Atlantic City which gives you shows and gambling and, and food and whatever else you get up to in Atlantic City, as well as some of the Jersey Shore points, Ocean City, you know, 
CIL, Vetner, so on and so forth. They're a little bit of a drive. Like I said, this campground's about 20 minutes north of Atlantic City. So do your timing accordingly to get down to all the other shore points. But you can get to the shore down there without the congestion of some of the Jersey Shore campgrounds, as you would say. But there's plenty of stuff to do locally, one of which is this one's favorite and some of her best childhood memories. Why don't you tell them about it? Yes, yeah, so five minutes from Chestnut Lake Campground is um, Smithville, and they call it the village, the historic village of Smithville. There's like 60 shops. They have some restaurants scattered through there, one of which is called the Historic Smithville Inn. They have weddings. It's really um, kind of upscale dining and um, all kinds of little like food court type things you can get throughout there and I really I just love Smithville like anytime we're at this campground and it's five minutes from us like we're there daily just checking I feel like things I out. feel like I'm at Smithville more than I'm at the grocery <laughs> store at this point yeah we're doing we're doing our Smithville runs and I like it because we're so close we're not really actually when we were a kid we would walk the whole grounds you know make sure we didn't miss anything now it's like walk a couple stores all right let's have lunch you know go back to the campground so we're doing it in little increments here it's laid out in sections so there's like if you park right on route nine there's a little kind of quaint section with the christmas store and it's a lot of little boutique type specialty shops in there and then if you go up around the side of it there's the first parking spot which is the area between that area and then the area where you cross over the, the bridge and go into the back section. So it's set up in sections. Real so, photographic. That's why we had our photo shoot yeah. there. So. A lot of historic buildings there. They got this gorgeous old uh, water wheel on an old barn that's now some sort of a store. Really neat there. Yeah, we, we were doing a photo shoot there. We've done two photo shoots there. Yeah. We did an engagement shoot, which since then they've been married at their wedding. And now we did the baby shoot there. Yes. There's yeah. always fun little nooks and crannies. We'll actually post the baby shoot in the related video at the end of this video on yep. the end card if you want to check out the shoot there there's lots of little nooks and crannies no matter how busy they are now this weekend it turned out to be we're having some big italian festival and we still found areas to go and shoot so there's a lot of nooks and crannies you can get around find some shade if you need to and you'll see some of that footage too of the little festival yeah yeah i'll show some of the italian festival in the b-roll as well so there, there's always something going on at Smithville. There's always some a special event, a festival. Uh, there, there's some of the shops there will host special events, like a wine tasting Art or walks, something. Art walks, things, craft fairs. Yeah, it's a really cool area. They have lots to do there. And and speaking of photography, there, right out of our campground, there's a couple of marinas. I caught some beautiful sunrise pictures. I'll put the B-roll. I love your pictures. There's stuff to do. You can go fishing. There's activity-wise, there's ton to do there. Right outside the campground is a historic uh, battlefield, right before you get to the marinas and the port, uh, where there was in 1778, it was the Battle of, of Chestnut, Chestnut Neck. Yeah. And if Something anybody's like seen the movie The Patriot, there was the, the French general who already came over to help out in the Revolutionary War. Well, he was leading the troops there to have a big statue of him. And it's, it's pretty neat. There's a lot of neat little historical things like that in the area. Nature trails. Stockton has a big research center there where they're studying the, the sea life in the inlet. Uh, there's definitely a lot going on there. Tons of stuff. Historical buildings, things like that. If you're into photography, old cemeteries. Uh, antique stores. Antique stores. Uh, we stopped at one of the newer ones on the way back and got some footage of that. But then there's, so there's the big antique mall one. And then there's a bunch of little, like, private home ones where it's just more clutter. Um, so you went into two this weekend, one in Smithville and the big one. What did you think about them? Um, I definitely, the little one in Smithville, that's just I have to go in there because I've been going there forever. But um, the one, the, the antique mall, I think it's called Days of Old. Days of Old. I have a picture of the, of the oh, sign. Good. I'll put it yeah. in the video. Um, so when you're staying at this campground, definitely recommend you go to this this little antique mall it's not so little actually um really a big space they have a lot of booths and laid out like most antique malls we went to one in williamsburg virginia that was very similar yeah i feel like i was there when i walked into the place yeah. i was like time traveling it looked exactly the same but you know every booth has their own you know what they're into and what they're selling so um remarkably i walked out of there with nothing 
this weekend somehow. I don't know. I didn't buy anything. We're, um, we're trying to train ourselves to be more minimal, more especially minimalist. if we want a full time one day. Definitely. So buying stuff we don't need in an antique store definitely isn't on the agenda right. anymore. It used to be. It used to antique be. stores and, and country stores. Yes. Yes. <laughs> But it's, it's pretty centrally located, right on Route 9, just down from the campground. Conveniently, and here's a good transition for you, right on the way home from this awesome Greek restaurant we found. Yes. The um, Athenian Garden, I think it was. If the, you're into Greek food, you'll love it. If you're not, definitely try it out. It's the freshest food. Um, really awesome. I am vegan and gluten-free. And my husband accommodates that very well by always looking for places that we can do. And, and we find, you know, Greek food, Indian food, Thai food. I, I yeah. mean, it all can. There, there's lots of things that will accommodate vegan entrees. those dietary needs. And fortunately, we end up loving them all. Indian food, uh, Japanese, Mexican, Thai. You can all get regular normal food items there that just happen to be gluten free and then sometimes you have to alter them to make them vegan but uh, why don't you talk about those two that we have one of our favorites down there we go down about 15 minutes from the campground to route 30 which is that, again that main road that goes to Lake city there's tons of, of big name restaurants but then there's two private restaurants that are some of the best in their category that we've ever had um so aroma is the Indian one that we are absolutely obsessed with. In fact, we had friends come down and meet us there, and now they're obsessed with it. Oh, we're getting off the road here. Well, we were being passed by a bunch of state troopers, and I got this guy in front of me driving 10 miles an hour with I his know, hazards with his on. Hazards on. So there's and, a lot going uh, yeah. on, guys. Lots going we're on. We're good. Go ahead. Um, back to Aroma. Yeah, back to Aroma. No, it, it's, um, it's really awesome if you've never tried Indian food they really accommodate well if you want to order mild but if you're really into the different dishes I don't know it's just one of the freshest places we found so it's going to be a go-to for us for sure um you're that V8 screaming yeah Over <laughs> the engine is trying to rev up we actually we're going to be taking this to ride back New York next week so I was wondering in the little hillier areas how the truck will do. Yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> you know? Um, yeah, so I definitely recommend you guys try that out. And then um, the other one was what, Mount Fuji that you love? Mount Fuji, right up the street. It's the sushi, um, hibachi, Japanese style. Japanese, amazing like fried rice. Yeah. Definitely if you are into fried rice. Um, yeah, that's literally right up the street from Aroma. And then of course, if you want all the chain restaurants, um, you know, like a, like you said, the Ruth's Chris and all those things. Yeah, that, that's more you head right in Atlantic City. For Atlantic that kind of City stuff. will have that with the outlets. This and one goes stuff. vegan, right? When Gordon Ramsay opens up the steak in Atlantic City, I'm like, ah. And he's very, he's very, very accommodating. So, um, yeah. So I would definitely say try out those restaurants, guys, and hopefully that'll give you some ideas of like what's in the area from the campground. Yeah. yeah. And there's. I would stay there many times again. I don't find anything bad about the place at all. It's a more quiet campground, as you've seen maybe in our Driftwood video. We're not the big at the campfire, drink a beer, Blair and Leonard Skinner to four in the morning. If that's you, God bless you. There's plenty of campgrounds that are like that. We tend to stay at ones that tend to be quieter, and this is definitely a quieter environment. The people in the office were just absolutely amazing and accommodating. We had to leave early today. I had something I had to take care of, and I really couldn't haul the camper there. They were like, not a problem. You let us know what time you can be out by, and, and that's not an issue. They were very accommodating. No, 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 later. You said early. We had to leave later. Well, yeah, today. we left later, but something came up. But they were, we're able, up. they were able to, they didn't really yeah, mind. I mean, they were you know? very sweet people there, and it's, it's just a great location and for us it's close enough to home that it's far enough that we feel like we're away but close enough to be home that it's nice instead of driving seven hours from somewhere we're home in an hour and yeah it's, really it, cool. that's a nice little surprise a little different change of pace yeah unlike the trip we have coming up which eileen just let go i uh, did rhinebeck new york in just three days we'll be heading to rhinebeck new york and we're doing the Oktoberfest up there. We're doing some photography up there. We're, we're heading up there specifically to, to do some uh, 
uh, mountainous type things and stuff like that. We're going to take you guys along. Yeah, so you'll be along for the trip, so make sure you stay tuned for next week's video. And until then, enjoy the B-roll. Bye, guys.